The seventh rule is the quotient rule. The derivative of u over v with respect to x is equal to v multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x minus u multiplied to the derivative of v with respect to x all over v squared. Okay, so let's uh, label uh, the given example. So we have here the derivative of 2x minus 3 all over 5x plus 1 with respect to x. So the value of u here is yung 2x minus 3 and v, which is yung 5x plus 1. Now, following the quotient rule, so we'll have v, which is equal to 5x plus 1, multiplied to the derivative of u, which is 2x minus 3 with respect to x. And then minus uh, the value of u, which is 2x minus 3, multiplied to the derivative of v, which is 5x plus 1 with respect to x. And then all over the value of v, 5x plus 1, quantity squared. Okay, uh, let's uh, simplify. So let's just copy uh, 5x plus 1. So, doon mo tayo sa numerator. And then, the derivative of 2x minus 3. So, the derivative of 2x is equal to 2. And then, multiplied again to the derivative of x, which is 1. So, kahit di atin isulat. And then, the derivative of negative 3. Okay, so it is equal to 0 since negative 3 is a constant. So, uh, the derivative of 2x minus 3 is equal to 2 na lang. And then minus, just copy 2x minus 3. And then the derivative of 5x plus 1. So we'll have uh, the derivative of 5x first. So it is equal to 1 is, is equal to 5. And then um, the derivative of x is equal to 1, so kahit di na natin isulat, and then plus the derivative of the constant 1, which is 0. So, meaning to say, the derivative of 5x plus 1 with respect to x is equal to 5. And then, don't forget uh, the denominator. 5x plus 1, quantity squared. Okay, let us distribute 2 in the numerator. 2, 5x plus 1. So, ito siya. So, we'll have 2 multiplied to 5x. So, it will be equal to 10x. And then, plus 2 multiplied to 1, which is equal to 2. And then, minus 5 multiplied to 2x, which is equal to 10x. And then, 5 multiplied to negative 3, which is equal to negative 50. All over 5x plus 1 squared. Okay. Um, let us distribute the negative sign sa numerator. So, we'll have 10x plus 2 minus 10x plus 15. Then, all over 5x plus 1 squared. Then, now uh, we'll combine like terms. So, we have 10x minus 10x. So, it is equal to 0. And then, we have positive 15 and positive 2. So, we will uh, combine it, which will be equal to 17. Then, all over 5x plus 1, quantity raised to 2. And, that is the derivative of the given function. So, kahit hindi nyo na expand yung nasa denominator. The eighth rule is uh, the derivative of square root of u with respect to x. Okay, it is equal to the derivative of u with respect to x all over 2 square root of u. Okay, let's have this example. The derivative of square root of 6x minus 5 with respect to x. Applying the uh, rule... So, we'll have 
what is the value of our u here? Okay, the value of u is 6x minus 5. Okay, uh, following the rule, so we'll have the derivative of 6x minus 5 with respect to x all over 2 square root of 6x minus 5. Okay, simplifying this, it will be equal to Okay, so simplify muna natin yung um, nasa numerator, the derivative of 6x. So, bukod natin yung constant na 6, so we'll have there 6. And then, what is the derivative of x with respect to x? So, it will be equal to 1. So, you, 6 times 1 is equal to 6. And then, we have minus 5. And the derivative of the constant, negative 5, is equal to 0. So, we'll have... Uh, 6 times 1 minus 0, so magiging equal din naman siya sa 6. So that's why we have 6 here. And then copy the denominator all over square root 2 square root of 6x minus 5. And then, um, if you think this is the final answer, well, it is not. Since we have a radical sign or radical symbol on the denominator, uh, we will rationalize the denominator kasi hindi natin ina-allow yung radical sign sa denominator. So, we'll uh, in rationalizing the denominator, we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 6x minus 5. So, yung goal kasi natin kapag nag-rationalize is to eliminate the radical sign. So, for it to be eliminated, let us multiply it by uh, square root of 6x minus 5. Uh, in multiplying, let's multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So, we'll have 6 square root of 6x minus 5 all over 2 multiplied to square root of 6x minus 5 quantity squared. Okay, in this case, we can now eliminate the um, square root sign. Okay, this will be equal to... Okay, so we have here the constants 6 and 2. And since ang operation naman natin both in the numerator and denominator is multiplication, we can simplify 6 over 2. And 6 over 2 is equal to 3. So we'll have 3 square root of 6x minus 5. And then, ang natira na lang sa denominator since makakancel na rin yung radical sign is 6x minus 5. So, that is the derivative of the given function. Okay, for the second example, we have the derivative of cube root of 5x minus 1 with respect to x. So, we have here a given cube root. So, mean to say, we cannot use this uh, rule kasi itong rule na to is applicable only for square root. So, what are we going to do if we have this given example? So, what are we going to do is to uh, convert this um, cube root of 5x minus 1 into exponential 4. So, it will be equal to the derivative of 5x minus 1 raised to one-third with respect to x. And then, we will apply the power root. Okay? Applying the power rule, so we have the exponent, which is one-third, so we're going to write it. One-third multiplied to 5x minus 1 Raised to 1 third minus 1. And then multiplied to the derivative of u. So, bag natin kakalimutan yun, which is yung 5x minus 1. With respect to x. Okay, after that, uh, we'll have 1 third multiplied to 5x minus 1. And then, your exponent niya is 1 third minus 1. And 1 third minus 1 is equal to negative 2 thirds. 
and then what is the multiplied to the derivative of 5x minus 1? Okay, so it is equal to 5. Uh, simplifying, we'll have... Um, so, let's have here one-third. And then we have here an, a negative exponent. So, for it to be a positive exponent, we will put it on the denominator. So, we will have 1 over 5x minus 1 raised to 2 thirds and then multiplied to 5. Okay, so combining all these uh, three, so yung 5, it will be uh, on the numerator. So we will have here 5 all over 3 multiplied to 5x minus 1 raised to 2 thirds. And uh, next step is to get back to the radical 4. So, we will have here 5 all over 3. Then, since ang nasa denominator na exponent natin is 3, so it will be cube root of um, 5x minus 1 squared. Okay, so since we have here a uh, cube root again, or may radical sign na naman tayo sa denominator, so we will rationalize this. So to eliminate the cube root sign, and meron na tayo ditong 5x minus 1 squared, so ilan na lang yung kailangan natin for us to eliminate yung um, cube root sign. So since meron na tayo yung 2 dito, so kailangan na lang natin is 1. So we will multiply this into the cube root of... 5x minus 1 over cube root of 5x minus 1. Then multiplying, we'll have here numerator to numerator, 5 multiplied to cube root of 5x minus 1 all over 3 multiplied to the cube root of 5x minus 1 quantity raised to 3. Now, we can eliminate the radical sign. Since meron tayong cube root dito and naka-raise na sa 3 yung function natin. So, simplifying. So, just copy. Yung nasa numerator. 5 cube root of 5x minus 1 all over 3 multiplied to 5x minus 1. So, kahit din yun na siya i-distribute. So, uh, this is the final Answer. So, ito na yung derivative dun sa uh, given natin kanina. And last rule, the derivative of 1 over u raised to n with respect to x is equal to negative n all over u raised to n plus 1 multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. In example, we have here the derivative of 1 over x squared with respect to x. So, akalain nyo na baka pwedeng gamitin dito yung quotient rule. Well, hindi po. So, um, for you to identify kung quotient rule ba or this yung gagamitin nyo, so tatandaan nyo lang na kapag ang numerator is 1, so itong ninth rule yung gagamitin nyo. But then, kung siya ay hindi 1, uh, so quotient rule yung gagamitin nyo. So, always remember that um, kapag 1 yung numerator and then yung denominator nyo is nakaraise sa certain exponent, then you're going to use the ninth rule. Okay. Proceeding and following the rule, so we'll have the negative n, so which is equal to negative 2, all over u raised to n plus 1, which is equal to x raised to 2 plus 1, and then multiplied to the derivative of u, which is x, so the derivative of x with respect to x. Okay, let's simplify. We'll have negative 2 over x cubed multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x which is equal to 1. Okay, so multiplying this one, we'll have negative 2 
over x cubed. And that is the derivative of the given function. Second example, the derivative of 1 over 5x minus 9 raised to 8 with respect to x. Again, following the rule, we'll have negative 8 all over the value of u, which is 5x minus 9. Open and close parentheses, raised to 8 plus 1. And then multiplied to the derivative of u, which is 5x minus 9 with respect to x. Okay, let's simplify. We have negative 8 over 5x minus 9 raised to 9 multiplied to the derivative of 5x minus 9. So again, derivative of, so we will take out again 5. Uh, dun sa derivative natin, so we'll have 5. And then the derivative of x with respect to x is 1. And then we have minus the derivative of the constant time, which is 0. So we'll have here 5. And then multiplying negative 8 over 5x minus 9 raised to 9 by 5. So we'll have negative 40 over 5x minus 9 raised to 9. And that is the derivative of the given function. Okay, I want you to try these five examples on your own. And you can check the description box for the final answers. And that's it for this um, lesson. And um, I thank you guys for listening. We hope that you learned. Bye!